We out here with the league, the major league, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, I seen these guys start from. I seen these guys start before you even yes. had that that um, don't vibe with me. Y'all just awkward dudes with sweaters, you know, like in the two, the 208, two, 208, you know, you've been out there. Man, your growth has been phenomenal um, over the past, uh, geez, years. Yeah, like six years? Six years. Not six months, probably like. No? Probably like eight. Yeah. yeah. About eight. Thing about it. Who, who, who's, who, who, is, who is the guy that literally between the two of you guys, who's the guy that thinks of the things to be done and who's the guy that does the things or is there a balance? How does it work? Like I think of the things, my brother's more of the operation to go and make sure it, or try and make it happen, you know? Like I like thinking about possibilities or connections as in like, let's try to get into that space so we can do this and this and that. And then we sit down, we formalize, and then we see my brother likes to run it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, is this like a, like, I'm, I'm just, I'm just interested in the process, you know, because you guys are twins, yeah. right? Um, <laughs> and like, yeah, you know, I mean, like, is it, is, do you guys have like a, is it like a cool, cohesive relationship or is it like a, yo, you're always fighting with each other, is it, yo, how does it work, you know what I mean? Uh, it's just, I think it's cool. But I think as brothers, you know, sometimes you do, you do fight, you know. I think all brothers fight. Um, fight in, in, every, in every space. We can be chilling here with you. And then they're like, yo, man, that's not how you say it. Or whatever it is. Or why, why, why didn't you greet Slicker? Why did we come to an event and then like, just walks past the group? Why didn't you greet? But I'll be in my own mood or whatever, you know. I didn't even see Slicker that day. And my brother would be like, why didn't you greet him? Don't be offensive to people, things like that. So those are the things you find about. Make sure things are in line, make sure you fight. Good. Yeah. yeah. I always find, that's right, you know, I always find that like, um, between the two of you, whenever I meet, I, meet, I, meet, I meet you guys at an event, there's one that's like, always going to speak, and there's one that's just like, you know. It's quiet. It's just it's, quiet, it's, you it's know. Me, I'm, I'm the one that's always speak. I'm like, are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm like more outspoken than my brother. If he doesn't really know, he's gonna be in the back, keep quiet, observe, and all of that. So yeah, it's me. I just like to listen to what you're saying. <laughs> Some of the fact that See I now, like that's, his, that's his excuse. I just, I just like the fact that she, I just look at the fact that you like speaking, and you like opening your mouth, but sometimes you don't say anything. But you're saying something, but you're not saying anything. Oh. You sometimes feel <laughs> like your brother, but why you gotta even talk about that? You know what I mean? Yes, I always feel like that. Most and my brothers hate you. <laughs> I, I, I hear that you guys, out of everybody, I mean, in the scheme, yeah. you guys are the biggest, um, um, how do I say it? You guys are the biggest spotters of opportunity, and you convert that. So let's give an example. I mean, with, we first heard about my brother through, with you guys. Yeah. You know, then everyone else, like, kind of like, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, I mean, like, obviously, you got the major league property. You guys literally started the whole event thing and then obviously then Casper yeah. came in with Philip with Philip yes. with the dome, you know. Um, so we the, the word on the street is that you guys are the biggest hustlers. You know what the, I, I I just like like I was saying earlier to you, I just like seeking opportunities, you know, and growth. Like I'm always watching like nineties DVDs of Damon Dash, Jay, Puffy, you know. It's all about the culture and how they grow the culture and make money from the culture. And when I mean grow the culture, how does the culture make money, you know? Sim even like, though, like, I look at like everything, bro. Like, for real? Merchandise. Even when, even when I'm sleeping, bro, I'm thinking like, how are we gonna change this, bro? I look at like, how much does our industry make, you know? Mm. And how much can we take, how much can we make out of, of mm. that? Like, if, I, if our industry makes about 100 million a year, how much can we make? And then can we like, make 20% 20, 20 of it? Mm. Well, that's a bit hard, but. Yeah, but so I look at things in, the, in that angle where, like, if we're gonna make it work, how are we gonna build this building? How are we gonna have this? How are we gonna have this conversation and have this whole thing with the, with the trees in the back, you know? Mm, yeah, whole, whole because in the Because back in the day, it was just like maybe, what do you call these things? These, um, 
spray painted things behind us. You know, nothing's different, bro. Graffiti. Yeah. You don't graffiti. <laughs> nothing. Yeah. Things, yeah. Yeah. There's nothing different. There's no. There's no elevation. There's no nothing. There's no growth. So, know. so now we're trying to actually like think how do you actually grow it and how do you actually make money off it and how do you actually take everyone's lives for it. Yes. Oh, look at the cash, B. What's that? <laughs> oh God, you know what I'm saying? I got you. When, when, when did this, for me that's why when, I, when you guys are first, so you guys were like awkward, right? Like yeah. you were like young awkward guys. Like, always chilling, watching. Always, yeah, yeah, you know, when when did this switch up come to you guys to go, yo, when we get in, we're going to get in and get it all. You know what I mean? Because there has to be a thing where like you're not accepted or people aren't embracing you and you go, when we get in, we're going to get it all. I mean, I, I'm really interested in that because it's a lot of ambition to go, it's it's a far actually it's a far stretch from you guys going, yo we were outside now we're going, yo this industry is making a hundred million we gotta be making twenty percent you know yeah. when did that switch up happen with you guys? Mm. For me, um, I've always been a person who loved the industry you know. Back then I used to be to myself watch I always used to watch and observe what people are doing. That was my my core focus all the time. You can even ask scoop like we always used to watch. Observe what people do, Jim Post, everyone else. You know. And you used to, you guys used to go to everybody's video shoot party. Yes, you guys, yeah, did, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Just watch. Yes. Then. We should think of with me doing that. I was thinking about the seven, seven rule promotion. You know, seven times you see something, you recognize it, and it becomes familiar with you. That's what I do with my marketing, even with events and everything else. You know. But coming to that, when coming into the game, when we thought coming to the game, it was a little bit of a stretch because everyone was like, who are these twins? Where they coming from? I only knew a few people from the industry, like Elias, all these North guys. I grew up here around here, so it was easier for me to come through that door. And I was still in high school at the same time, so I used to try go to every single event, every single festival, every single video shoot if I could, you know, possibly there and learn and see what happens. But when I got in the industry, I thought about it. We're growing as humans, we're growing and growing older. We need, if I want to buy a house, if I want to buy a nice car, I need to make money. So how am I going to flip that? married. Yes. <laughs> so how am I going to flip that into doing what I love, into money? So when I came in, I'm like, yo, we have to think about how, how much the industry makes exactly, you know? And in those festivals that make that, even in, fest, in the festival industry, how many festivals make now, how much do all the festivals make a year? Mm. And how much are you taking out of those festivals as well? Mm. With how much money share can you take? Yeah. Mm. Mm. So Maybe with to... booking fees and all of that. Because like, if you think about coffee, it's probably at all the best festivals in South Africa and he's taking a big chunk. Mm. He goes home with the booking fee, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's all of it. But that's and, also from one and line. Like, that's from a booking perspective. Yeah, that's just the, that's the booking and perspective. And then I look at like, like what he's doing. He's playing in our league. Maybe our league is in Vela. So you have to also understand what what type of leagues are you trying to play in and which where are you try to take this. Mm -hmm. And what space, you know? You know? Um it's not easy, but I think I think like as hip hop, South African hip hop has come a long way, there's still so much we can do. Well there's, there's still so much we can do. The game has always been been led by guys who actually were just about the game. But yeah. I think you guys are, are, are like this generation of you guys also. You guys are literally like uh, uh, are going beyond just saying, "Yo, um, it's just the music." I always felt that in my time when I talked about like I remember talking about like how we gotta make money off this shit, you know, yeah. how we got to build a nigga. Yeah, Slick like, was, everybody used to say Slick is the money man. Listen, the nigga was the money. Listen, listen, but like, I was talking about money before everybody was talking about money. Yes. And like, when that's not the subject, you always like, you always go through a bigger resistance. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Yes. But it's like, you guys now, you know, like, let's just say that like, um, you want to break into being overseas, like, it's happening with coffee, he's one, right? Yes. But let's say there's another 20 artists that are actually all having the same conversations. You guys start working together to get yourselves to them, right? But right now, when you're having a conversation on your own about money, if anyone don't see the vision, everybody it becomes like complacent. Yes, and they'll be like, this nigga is all about money. Exactly, you know what I mean? So I've always, for me, I've always, more than anything, I've always said, but this is what we do. This is our culture, you know yeah. what I mean? 
if we're not making money out of it, someone else is making money out yes, of it. Yes, and that's the truth. And it's not one of us. So you were asking yourself, who's making money? So and understand how they're making money? Yeah. The culture vouchers are making money. They yeah. They're because looking for opportunities and they're going to take it. Because, you know, I say to be, I literally go, I'd rather have, I don't give a, it's like we're having this conversation about like with McGregor and Mayweather and I said, you know, I, for everything else that I think Mayweather is like a weird guy about, I don't give a damn. Mm -hmm. But when he's fighting that white cat, he's going to beat that white cat yes. for black people. And that's just what it is. And I'm behind him 120%. It's the same I feel about money. I'm going, if y'all doing some shit, like I've certain conversations with people like, nah, I'm working with X and X, like, you know, maybe yeah. a brand. I'm working with X and X and it's like, oh, oh, they black folks. I right, cool, never mind. I don't carry on pitching. I don't carry on pursuing it. But like, if it's other races, I'm like, but why they make money off our culture, though? Yeah, yeah. Yes, why? Why can't, you, why can't you allow us to make money with our culture? Because our culture is making money, that's one thing I take. But I also think we don't see the opportunity. We just focused on the small nitty gritty pieces of, the, of our culture. Thinking about, we can talk about making music, we're not thinking about how we're going to make money out of the music, if you understand. We're not educated enough to know how money works in the industry. That's what I think it is. But I also feel that we don't listen to each other. We, that's we, another we, thing. Um, I mean, I can tell you guys a thousand things about how to how to make money, you know. But you guys are making so much more money, or so you making you think that you got all the answers to make that money. Yes, and, that's and, a problem. And, and that's a, and you I'll don't want to learn, bro. Yeah, I can tell you, are they guys in your circles? In my opinion, who literally don't even have to jump on stage through digital, they can literally like make the same money they're making on stage. Yeah. But cats are not listening. You understand? But cats are also so consumed in what they're doing. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So my thing is that, like, you know, um, we also don't listen to each other. You know what I mean? And Shit, I need to learn this digital world, me. It's making money. Oh. <laughs> listen, for real. But, like, yo, the, one of the biggest things, though, that we're saying is that, like, um, as part of what we're doing, because I'm in the space, let's say we're, we, we, we're all playing a game. So let's say you're in the eventing space, I'm in the digital space. And, why should I start all over again to go try build an event to do whatever? If I can call you guys up and go, who are your suppliers? How does it work? And then you guys go, yo, slip, cool. We got it. We're running for you. And then you go, and then I go, okay, cool. I'm going to just direct that to you guys. Versus you guys going, oh, we want to do this whole digital thing. And I go, okay, cool. I know how to literally like monetize of digital. So how are you going to do that? You know, who are you working with that you come to, to work with us to do it? But we don't have these conversations. Nah. We never people have don't. them. People want to take it on to, the, to put it on to the, how can I say, they want to take all that burden, or not burden, all that responsibility of learning how to do digital instead of asking right, someone to Any type of business. Yes, any type of business. And ask, take it. and ask the questions on what's happening. They want to be the one, I did it, I did it, I did it, without this person. That's the problem we have as well. I think it's a little but bit maybe that's from, Maybe we got that evil. from like, from the, from, from where we come from, the apartheid time and all these things. No. Like, I don't know, I, was, I never grew up in those times. So <laughs> but I you know, understand. but you see, here's my thing though. I think, I, I, I mean, I've, I've, I, 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 I'm for the fact that like, if it's Major League Gardens, and I don't know if there are a lot of enough people like this, if it's Major League Gardens and I do something, I'm not going to put myself out there and post it that I'm doing something for Major League Gardens. Mm -hmm. Unless, like, you know, Major League Gardens goes, yo, shout out to Slick. Type yeah, thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? That's why for me, if I'm going to come cover your events and give away tickets, I'm not going to ask you to put my logo on your platform. Because mm -hmm. for me, it's like, but. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's our thing. It's your thing, but it's our thing. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, 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 it's yeah. playing within our space. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So I don't need. You guys have to go, yo, Slick. You want us to put the logo? I go, okay, cool, do it. But it's not like a call where I'm like on some, yo, um, yo, but I want my logo before I do this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, do you know what that's, I mean? That, that's, I think that's, that's what happens with a lot of, a lot of situations in the whole industry, you know? They, people don't think about the growth of everyone, they think of the growth of themselves. And when it comes to, when you start thinking of the growth of yourself, you're gonna think like that. That's the first thing you're gonna say when you call. So why is my logo here? Why can't it to do that? We've managed we've managed to do that with, with our peers, like Ricky and Casper. Anything we do for each other is not at a mm. cost or anything, we just 
you but now you have to, to grow it bigger than that, you know? That's Imagine you if you could grow. do that like with, with a, a bigger family. It'd be crazy. But th- 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 that's why and that's I, why we're probably still here today, because we have each other's support, each other's back. But it can be bigger, that's what I'm saying. But you see, that's another thing though. So the guys that are not included in the Casper Rick yes. Major League equation, they feel like you guys are their faction. Yes. When you guys are going, look, it's, it's Major League, it's Ricky, it's Casper, yes, there's a bond. But you know, we're open to like facts with anybody well, else yes. that yes. actually has something so also to bring to, to get, the table. Yes, we need to give that feeling off. Like, guys, anyone well, but I think we, 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 we do give that feeling off. Uh, me, I'm the, I am, me, my feeling, I, I never close doors to anyone. Anyone can call me, can help me out. I've helped out so many people anyway. Yeah, yeah, so I've never been a person who want to close doors than anybody. Even my own peers, Speedy, Dimples, we do things for each other all the time, you know? Mm-hmm. And it hasn't been a, a situation where it's like, yo, you didn't do this for me or you didn't do that, so I'm not going to do this for you, you know? Mm-hmm. It's just like a brotherhood. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you see, th- but I think what you guys are doing also is that the one that you really present in the public is the, the three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, it's the three kings, you know what I mean? That's the one you present to the public, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? So people don't so know like a that clan, there's a like, relationship with Speedy, they don't know there's dimples, they, they don't know that other stuff because you guys don't, it doesn't come like, oh, Pop Bottles, Major League pushed it, Casper's pushing it, Ricky pushed it. it, it doesn't become a union. You guys are like, mm. when you do it only on your own projects, it's like that. But like, if it's literally something outside, you push it from your side and go, okay, I'll push it. But it won't reach Casper. It won't reach. So yeah. because people already see you as a three, as, as three, it's almost like if like mm. Dimples calls you, you can just go, yo, Dimples, I'm a, I'm a call Casper and Ricky, and, and then it spreads. Because automatically when you do that, people stop seeing it as it's just the three kings. They start seeing, because you guys have got the power to literally build a cultural thing like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's if like you open up those doors because we've seen with how, what Casper, Ricky and, and, and Major League have done. Now, if you guys open those wider doors and you start using this influence, the three, the influence of the three, you guys kind of go, not that Dimples needs you guys, not that Dimples is struggling, but, but it's push. all in the sense of, yo, the push. You know what I mean? We're a union. You know what I mean? 